Hi friends, today we are going to discuss the payroll in tally. First of all, you have to plus F11. That accounting feature. Maintain payroll is and more than one payroll cost category is. That's all here. Again, from the F11, you have to select statutory and taxation. In that, enable payroll statutory is. Set alter payroll statutory details. That should be S. Then, the tally asks the provident fund details, employee state insurance CSI details, national pension schemes details, income tax details. You can fill up if you are uh, if you have provident fund, then you have to fill this area. And if you are registered with the ESI and the income tax details, you can give the TAN number and everything. That's all there. Then we will get a new menu payroll info in the gateway of tally. So we are going to payroll info. In that you can create employee groups. What is employees groups? These are the departments, different departments of the particular company. So create what sales primary under primary or department is sales. Sales is already there that which is I create earlier. So technical under primary. No. So like that marketing is already there. That's already there. So enough is there. I'll show you. So admin marketing sales technical which is created by us now technical. So these are the employee groups. Then employees. We are creating employees according to their departments. The technical in the sales, in the marketing like that. So this is the employees create example Thomas. Thomas under marketing sales technicals technical okay here you have to fill every details then only you can you know you will you, when you generate any reports all these details will reflect there so employee number designation function location and date of birth and everything should be here and email email if you enter the email then it is easy for you to send the pain slip through the tally itself In the provide bank details it should be yes and you can give the account number correctly then that's all uh, in that area also if the tally will Tally will ask you check electronic check like that. If you are sending your salary of Mr. Particular Mr. Thomas by check, then you have to select check. If you are transferring to other uh, electronic transfer, it should be others. Okay, so here I am selecting check. This is the default account pay. Like that, if the if that particular person have PAN card. PF account number, whatever you have, you can fill all these things here. So, a particular employee has been created here now. Then you look units. I already created units, I will show you always. Minutes, always of 60 minutes, like that. 
that is for the manufacturing units and if your company having giving or uh, overtime or something like that then the units is important there then the attendance type that also i show you because i already created that alter absent if you are going to create then you should take create i am here showing you alter when you create the button like this so the alter same but same menu absent first absent primary okay leave without pay absent means leave without pay present leave with pay look leave with pay present means leave with pay so that is the the two uh, two of them we created already next pay head this is very important pay head alter basic hra salary payable ta like that so if you are a company having salary structure you have to create this and i will show you in alter mode if you create it should come like this so the same the alter basic i entering basic okay basic is earning for employees sure fixed indirect expense affect net salary yes it will affect our net salary on attendance or you can give the flat rate if you give the flat rate you can mention particular amount that will come irrespective of the attendance if you put the attendance when you make the attendance of that particular month if that particular employee is has is absent attendance then the salary of that particular employee will deduct accordingly so it is up to you whether you are deducting for the uh, you know absent employees uh, so it should be according upon you now i am creating it on attendance months days calculation period if you if you give the days you have to give the daily wages whatever the amount you are giving for that particular employee in a in a day you should have to mention that there but it is in a month should be okay okay then calculation period user defined the like way hra is also earning for employees in direct hra flat rate flat rate means we can give the direct amount once salary payable is not i will show you it after some time ta also part of the company part of the salary earning for employees like flat rate so here we created hra basic ta next we are going to so we created employee groups employees units attendance production types pay head so if you created f12 like payroll configuration here you have to give statutory details as passport as contact details as this is actually you have to press up before we create employees i actually I forgot to do that it's already yes in my case so that's there is no difficulty to you know do all those things but when you create before creating employees you have to press f12 so next is salary details define we are defining thomas should be at from april basic here on the base of attendance attendance means 5000 divided by own attendance we created 26 if we come 26 days then the 5000 will get if we come, if we you know 20 Five, then the one day salary will deducted from this particular five thousand. Next HRA is a flat rate, so you can give whatever it is. 
it will not change according to the attendance that means flat rate and TA what is the amount of TA you can see 2000 and that's all and 15 copy from previous value if there is an increment fresh otherwise copy from previous value so that is now increment this month so we are copy from previous value okay that's all so we defined uh, two years two months salary so attendance pay head salary details are over next we are going to make salary entry so attendance first of all you know you press F1 spare all and F5 this attendance so first of all you have to give attendance for that particular month you have to press alt a then voucher date 4 we are, we are going to put em employees attendance for, uh, for the month of April Thomas absent first of all we are creating two day absent for him okay and okay. and again for Thomas present. is Tuesday absent so it's 24 okay so according to that you can give the present or absent whatever it is then payroll voucher we are changing attendance to the payroll then again all salary from 1st April to 30 April Thomas salary no here we have to create so I already create salary payable you have to create a current liability we are transferring Thomas salary to salary payable account salary payable I created in a current liability so it, we are saying that that particular Thomas salary is payable so all you have to all so when you create salary payable this is not earning for employees so not applicable then the current liability will come and S yes, I am not accepting here because I already created salary payable there will be duplication so like that I already created so tally automatically generated you look this much two days of salary has deducted from basic because we created basic pay head according to the attendance these are the flat rates this don't change according to the attendance 5000 2000 are remaining there so we accept so 30 april there is a current liability salary payable for thomas so we created payroll and attendance all then normal accounting voucher we are going to pay for him repayment for the particular month 34 voucher date and will we pay in 5 Thomas salary paid we are going by cash I, it's a new company so I, I didn't created any bank so it's cash look it's very easy it's come there already you can press that's over and if you want to give to a pain slip for him display payroll reports statement pay slip single pay slip Thomas change the PD 1434 look he's absent two days 
plus in 24 days this much salary this much we deducted so this is the and one one report also there pay head employee breakup means you can you will know you will get the information how much we paid for that particular employee look salary payable on april 30 we have to pay a current liability here salary payable and june june july uh, may 1st we paid that particular amount and by cash so i hope you got a just idea what is the tally payroll is all about and there are more things like pf tds and esi uh, this is a general of my first video so i am just giving the introduction if you have any particular doubt in in a specific area like payroll uh, attendance or payhead creations or employee creation kindly ask me kindly comment me then i will make a new video for that particular purpose only so this is the overall you know tally payroll and whatever the specialization of that particular doubt you have in particular area then i can give the another tutorial so i hope you enjoyed and if you like uh, like please like me on my video i hope you enjoyed uh, do well in your company excel in your job be a professional for every time okay bye dear friends bye